Um, hello guys, welcome back to another video. This video is my last video of 2021. I know in the description of my last video I said welcome to the last upload of 2021, but that was before I cut an awesome update, an idea, sorry, for the last video of 2021. You're asking, but there's two more Fridays left of 2021. Well, that's because they're both holidays and I don't really care about views per se, but I don't want to upload on a holiday where people spend a time with family because it's Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. So, this video, if you can't tell by the title, is ranking. Well, ranking, even though it's not really ranking because I suck at ranking shit. Um, albums, I listened albums or EPs that came out this year or albums of a singer that I got into this year. Like my biggest one, Marina. She only released one album this year, but I'm gonna talk about all her albums because I got into her and started listening to her. Listen to them. Um Oh yeah. Almost forgot an album. I think it came out this year. I know the Deluxe came out this year, but like, I can't remember if the Standard album came out this year or not. Yes, it did, okay. Um, so, they're organized by artists, if artists released more than one album. Because most artists I listened to this year dropped more than one album. So my the biggest. Okay. So these are all. So this al this video, I'll keep wanting to say album. Oh, yeah. The, I have my phone to see if there's, like, an, any more albums. Yeah, let's scroll and see if there was any more. Let's go to albums. Oh yeah, one, I'm gonna talk about Adele's album. I'm, oh, I'm not gonna talk about Adele's album because I haven't really listened to much. I keep forgetting about it. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, these are all, so. I'm gonna go over the albums that only that I have for one um, singers that released only one album or that I have one album of that came out this year. Um, we are going to start with Planet Her by Doja Cat. This was probably my most played summer album, even though it came out like the I think the day before Ari's birthday. So it came out early summer, but like this was my most played. I would say this is my most played summer album until July. And we're going to talk about why until July. Um, but yeah. From, for like an entire month and like four days, just July 29th, um, I started listening to someone else and got into her music and it was like pretty big. So from like June 25th to like July 29th, I listened to nothing but this album. Um, this EP, I don't remember much of because I'm, I listened to it like three times and fell in love with it, but then other music came out like a week after it that I liked and I played that and more. So like, I like this EP, I'm not going to judge it much, but like. I did that by accident. Day one of having it. This is the 
Target exclusive, I think it is called. See so what I call Target Edition and Target Exclusive. One, two, it's Target Exclusive. So we all know that some people make posters with their Target Exclusive CDs. I was expecting something else other than the fucking album cover itself to be the fucking poster. Because as you can see, this is the album cover for the Target Exclusive. I think that's the original album for the non Targo exclusive. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this album came out. But I didn't really listen to it much. I listened to it twice because I honestly. I liked this album and Happier Than Ever, the title track, has a way different song than I was expecting. If you listen to it, you know what I'm talking about, but um Oh yeah, it's gonna go over my favorite songs on each album. Totally forgot. Well, this one I can't pronounce any of them because it's a Spanish EP. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say my favorite. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna tell you the title, the not track number, and that's it. Um, I'm gonna say, if I remember correctly, it was four. Happier than ever, my favorite was. Uh, Lost Cause. Planted Her. Shockingly, was not. I don't do drugs. It was actually love to dream. When Christmas Comes Around by Kelly Clarkson. This came out October 15th. Once again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say this album came out August, October 15th. My favorite isn't Santa Can't You Hear Me by Kate and Ariana. Once again, it's not song page and Ariana. Um, same with this album, like hiding behind it. Um, it's a remix album that I really didn't like. My second listen, my first listen, I fucking loved it. Second one, he was like, "Oh, this is shitty." Um, my favorite would have to be "Christmas Isn't Cancelled, Just to You," and that's a song to my toxic friend. Um, Demi Lovato's album Dance on Double Artist Running Over. This came out a week before Taylor Swift released her version of Fearless. Fearless. I almost said Fearless Taylor's version, though I said her version of Fearless. Now I may I may misgender Demi and I don't mean to. I'm sorry if I use the wrong pronouns for them. Um my favorite off this album was oh my god, what was it? I can't remember. Oh yeah, my favorite album, my favorite, my favorite song off this album was, um, and it was constantly changing. I went from Dance on the Devil to Mad World to Melon Cake. Melon Cake just like was a song that I related to, like Feeling Free finally, like yes. Um, this album, I listened to it all the fucking time. Yeah, it's not an album I put on much, but holy shit, I saw the film. This went with it. Holy shit, it was good. I heard my favorite too, which is I'm Not a Woman. Wait. It's in fucking cursive. I'm not a woman, I'm a god. I am not a woman, I am a god. There we go. I had to read it properly because, yeah, the, this album... And film was amazing. I wish I'll do. We'll do more album and films. And I like the themes of this album was like parenthood and. Uh, 
pregnancy and given birth. And one of the title and one of the songs is 1121, the day she found out that um, she was pregnant. Okay, this album is going to be controversial. I know it. Um, I've been listening to Blue Bastards because they keep getting exist. Mm -hmm. But this album, I fucking overplayed it. Um, I even have a vinyl of this album because my mother accidentally bought the fucking vinyl instead of the CD. Literally, same exact thing. Just the vinyl form. So, yeah, my favorite song. I'm sorry, but the background when I first saw it. I burst out laughing because I thought it was the ugliest thing in the world. <laughs> I've seen uglier, like, track list covered, like, photos. My favorite was Wild at Heart. I don't know why, just for some reason, apparently. March brain me feel like I could relate to it okay so now we're gonna get into these people they released two albums this year one's a christmas album i'm kind of going where they released it they did release a deluxe edition to this album in september now they're known for their covers but this album right here wonderful Wonderful, wonderful. There, this is nothing but originals. Nothing but originals. Now, I'm telling you, ever since their Christmas album came out, I haven't listened to this album much. But, um, my favorite is constantly changing. Right now, it's never gonna cry again. Oh yeah, I forgot the CD. <laughs> like, it's this, like, light, like, pink ring around it, then the rest is just white. And it says, in pink text, on white, the same light pink. So it's hard to read. Pentatonic Stilecki ones, and on the pink, it's looks like it's the copyright information and the record label. But that's the album cover. Um... It's called The Lucky Ones, and The Lucky Ones is about saying how they're the lucky ones and how all this, and about how the band itself has gone through personal trauma and mental trauma, and yet they're the lucky ones because they won a competition. Now, Evergreen, their Christmas album. Okay, when they first announced their track list on Lives and they used this photo, I was like, please be the track list photo on the back of the CD. Oh. It is, and I was super fucking happy because usually when people announce a track list, they, they, what they use, the picture they use with the track list is never the background photo. And I fucking love this photo. I was like, yes. Um, it is a fucking Christmas album. I saw them on tour. They came to my state December 2nd. I saw them. This is my second time seeing them. I saw them in 2018, either 18 or 19 when they were, no, it was 18, all right, because it was their PTX summer tour in 2018. Um, so I saw them when they came to my in 2018. And then I saw them in my state again on December 2nd for this album, my favorite song is I saw three ships and the way they do it is amazing. They're an a cappella band, so like everything they do is like their bot like their the sound, like the beat of the song, like the production of the song is it's either down by their voice or the like they like tap their body and shit like that. But then one of our most famous Christmas songs is done by like them like tapping each other. Yeah. But Evergreen, the title of track is about a mother's love and how some mothers don't always have the best, don't always have the money for Christmas and stuff like that, yet 
they don't show it to their kids, and they still give their kids a Christmas. Evergreen, one of the best albums ever. Please listen to it. Um, I have to remember the order. Okay. So we have Born This Way, the 10th Anniversary Edition. I have... I bought the CD when I bought... Actually, I bought... The three Lady Gallums that was released this year, I bought all at once. Plus, I bought a Rain On Me shirt, which you saw in two videos ago. So, we have Born This Way, 10th Anniversary, the, um, the original Born This Way is on this album, and the six songs are on this CD. So, I'm not going to say much except the fact that some of the songs weren't the greatest. Like, they couldn't, Lady Gaga could have picked better singers to cover it. The song she did was Mary the Night, Judas, Highway Unicorn, You and I, Edgy Gordon, Born This Way, the Country Road version. My favorite one from the six is Edgy Glory. Now, even though this Born This Way itself did not come out this year, I'm going to still say my favorite. One, and that is hair, just because I speak, to, like, it relates to me a lot. Oh, my God. This next album. I don't even want to show you the fucking cover, because you're going to know it. <laughs> the fans are so excited for it. For a shitty-ass remix album. Dawn of Chromatica. The only remix that's listenable... And that's coming from someone who fucking loves Chromatica. Is. I'm trying to remember what it's actually called. Because it's called something. Um, oh, I thought it was like had a special remix name. But I guess not. It's Free Woman featuring Rena. I can't say her last name. And Clarence Clarity. I'm going to play you a little bit of it now. Literally, you talk to the entire fandom. And that's the best song on this fucking album. All the other songs are shit. I was very disappointed with the Rain on Me remix. Um, Love for Sale. Oh. I would have to say my favorite is the title track. This album is amazing. I've heard Tony's last album, I couldn't ask for a better album, and it's nominated six times with record, with one of the songs being nominated for record of the year, and the album itself being nominated for album of the year. So I got missed um the mystery cover and i got let me show you which cover i got first i got this one i'm showing you because i don't know if all four have a different post or not or it's all the same but i got this nice little poster in it I do plan on getting cheek to cheek when I can afford it. But yeah, so out of the three albums Lady Gaga released this year, and I can say Love Herself is the better one. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I kinda, I'm going to be going over the um, albums that I either. Now, once again, there's five albums here. Not all five were released this year, but most of these albums were released this year. Um. I'm going to say Evergreen is the better one for Pentatonics. Um. 
Taylor only released two albums this year. Um, let's start with Fearless. Now, this album came out a week after Demi's album, and I was too obsessed with that. Demi's album. Um, that I totally forgot that Fearless came out till like a month after. So, that... Hmm. This album, The Vault Track. I'm not a country music fan. I fucking hate country music. But Taylor's country music, and I'm telling you, the original Fearless wasn't country. The Vault Tracks made up for it. The fucking Vault Tracks made up for it not being country. My favorite Vault, my favorite track off Fearless is Don't You from the Vault. And it's such an amazing song. I'm going to play a little bit of Don't You for you right now. That way you don't get copyrighted. I just gotta scroll through the T's. That's no one doing. Now if you're a Swift and you already know what this sounds like. My vault the vault track from Red sounds nothing like Red's supposed to sound. Red is another country album, but it turned pop. Like it turned pop. But, so yeah, that was my favorite song from Fearless, Taylor's version. Now let's get into Red, Taylor's version. The album. This is the album that got me into Taylor. So, like, I made sure that no album came out a week before it. <clears throat> it was moved up a week. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that um, my mother gave me... So I told my mother... I got Red Taylor's version, and she thought Red Taylor's version was Fearless Taylor's version. So I have two Fearless Taylor's version CDs, but something's messed up with the other one. I'm gonna go get that messed up one for you. So it's so messed up that I had to keep it in the plastic. Well, it's not messed up at all. It's signed by Taylor Swift herself. Yeah, my mother mistakes thought these two album covers were the exact same. So she gave me the Fearless Signed Taylor CD. Or Taylor Signed Fearless CD. For an early Christmas present when I got this album in. But, so, yeah, y'all, I have I was too hyped for this album. She announced it in June, and I was like, yes, this is album that got me into Taylor. I'm going to listen to it. It's not going to happen. Like, what happened with Fearless? Let's go. It came out a week early because Adele's album, 1930. Sorry. And I got to hear the best vault track ever. And I think for our fandom, we can agree that... This is the best vault track. Player 456 eliminated.
If you want to hear the full song, I will be recording a cover soon. Mm. Man, when the album came out early, I was like, yes, I want it now. Can I have it now? <clears throat> then in August, she announced a track list, and we got the box tracks. We still have three message in a bottle. That's a fun, that doesn't sound like a country song title. Uh, that I'm hoping that will be my favorite. Um, it's my most played song from Red Taylor's version. I'll have it playing in the background. So what album? Do I like Mono Taylor? Red Taylor's version. I have to go for fourth grade and me. That's for fourth grade and me. This is how many albums we covered so far. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, well, technically fourteen because I counted going for it twice, but still. Now we're gonna get into the reason why I didn't listen to Planet Hug the entire summer. going to pause this. I don't know what album to start with um, because I love all. And once again, these this is the person that breaks the rule. These are not all 2021 albums. All albums were at least in 2021 now. Only one of these albums was released in 2021. Um, let's start with the Family Jewels by Marina and the Diamonds, who would soon become just a Marina. My friend got me into her on July 29th. At first, I only listened to these three albums, these two albums, and then it wasn't until, like, beginning of August that um, I listened to these two albums. And then I forgot that she had this album out. So I listened to it last. Let's go on to The Family Jewels. I'm going to play you probably, I'm actually going to use a different streaming service than um, Apple Music because I'm going to end the video if that's finishing. This one. If you play Just Dance, you know this song. by Marina. It became really popular on TikTok. Um, the line. Fuck, what was the line? It's all still all fall apart. I'm not, hang on, I have to. Okay. This next line after this one. That line became like popular on TikTok, so Marina actually went back and changed it to Marina and the Diamonds. Oh no. I feel like I'm the worst voice. I feel like I'm the best official music video. <laughs> but so yeah, if you know 
I don't know from Just Dance. This is the album that was on. His next album, Electra Heart, probably her most famous album. My favorite. My favorite is. My favorite is Obsession from this album. My favorite is actually the saddest song. It's called Teen Idol. Spelled T Teen I D L E. about this song um she does mention the word suicide so yeah if you if you do not like hearing that word i do not recommend this song right here This song just gets hard for me. Like, I related to it because I lived the story that Teen Idol was telling. Uh, this next song, this next album, and I'm going to give a big shout out to Lauren, my friend right here. She's the reason I got into Marina, and she's part of the reason why Fruit is my favorite album by Marina and the Diamonds. Marina, Marina under Marina and the Diamonds, Fruit is my favorite album, but under Marina, it's Ancient Dreams and Modern Air. I'm going to play you a little bit of the title track. Me and my friend Lauren joke that it's the gayest sex song ever. You'll see why. Isn't that gay? <laughs> and then you, you have my favorite. Um, I'm going to actually play you the song that started. The reason why me and my ex friend are no longer friends was a song from this album. And I can't wait to play you it. I'm playing the full thing. I don't care. It's the song's amazing. It's my favorite song from the album. But see, I let me play Can't Pin Me Down. Another song to my ex friend. A lot of Marina songs, actually, let me go over them. You had Kermit the Frog, Lies, um, Hippocrats. Um, radioactive. Um, can't pin me down. From love, it was. None of them, that's right. From fear, it was. You, karma. And no more suckers and ancient dreams are modern and it was Pandora's box I love you but I love me more and flowers and goodbye and perch the poison so yeah me and Lauren my friend joke that um Fruit our gayest album, then you have Love Plus Fear. Um, my favorite is Enjoy Your Life and <clears throat> No More Suckers. I'm going, this video is going to get copyrighted. I'm not going to make it anymore, but do I fucking care? No. That's Coconuts.
going to play you. Amazing. And then you have, um, no more suckers. I was too open. I was too quick. Let other people in. Took whatever they could get. Now I see a pattern. I'm getting rid of it. You know I need a change Cause I'm tired of feeling drained Put stop sign up You're not getting any new Say goodbye to the suckers In the rear view mirror Don't write me a text And I make it any clearer Why can't you help yourself You more suckers In my life to Caleb, my ex friend, and this next song, Ancient Dreams in the Modern Land, my favorite album by Marina. Um, overall, my favorite album would be Ancient Dreams, too. But in the Diamonds, Marina would be Fruit, and Marina herself is Ancient Dreams. You could listen to this album, fell in love with it. Um, then I heard this song. And I was like, yep, this you is the most song that made me want to end my friendship with Caleb. Almost Turn me psycho. I almost lost my mind. mind. I didn't know the depth yet. Of someone so unkind. Someone who was special In every other way You damaged what we had But for her, it's just another day You opened up Pandora's box You don't know what you just unlocked I lose all control, let go of my darkest thoughts Cause I see the jewelry was stacked against the odds And I prayed that hope's not lost Cause get many vices Except I don't pray all hope's lost Not all hope's lost, because I knew hope was lost I knew hope was lost Mmm 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 but, so that concludes this video, and I'm going to end it with Message in a Bottle.
So what did you guys think of that? I'll be back. I didn't put them all away. And I'm back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, thank you so much for joining me in 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a really stupid last minute video idea for the end of 2021. I'll see you guys next year.